The eastern U.S. sees more wildfires than the west, but the wildland fires are far bigger and much more dangerous here in the western states. Going in depth now, Max Roth joins us in studio to look at some of the biggest factors contributing to the danger here in Utah. Max. Yeah, and we're going to go more in depth on that idea of exceptional drought. The word exceptional doesn't sound as extreme as extreme, and that is deceptive. Fire needs three things to get going. Heat to ignite it, air to supply oxygen, and fuel to feed it. Now we can't get rid of oxygen, but we can reduce sources of ignition close to the fuel because the wildfire fear is about that fuel right now. Weeds, trees, and shrubs drier than they've been at any point in our lifetimes. The darkest red on the drought map is exceptional drought. It's the word scientists settled on to say it's worse than extreme. Exceptional in Merriam-Webster, deviating from the norm. Utah in 2021 is a contradiction. 62% of the state is exceptional, meaning deviation is the norm. Let's pound the point home. This list includes every week this century in order from the highest percentage in exceptional drought to the lowest. It's basically a list of the last 29 weeks and then July of 2002. 33% was the highest number for exceptional drought in Utah before we doubled that this year. The Insurance Information Institute says 14% of Utah properties are at risk from wildfire. That's sixth in the nation, the list made before this year's drought. And they say between 85 and 90% of fires are started by humans. We all think of Smokey the Bear and campfires when we hear that kind of thing. But some other things actually start more wildfires. Parking on top of dry grass is extremely dangerous. The uh, high temperatures caused by the exhaust system of a vehicle, especially the catalytic converter can cause the dry grass underneath the vehicle to catch on fire. Dragging chains on the ground when you're pulling a trailer is another culprit. Make sure if you're doing that, those chains are not hanging low and consider wrapping them with something protective. And if you want to clear brush, think about the tools you use. On mowers are designed to cut lawns, not dry grass in the wildland. So if you're going to cut dry grass in the wildland, you want to use the right equipment. Now, one saving grace here in Utah, while many of our structures are exposed to the possibility of fire, most of our forests are close to wide open spaces, with some exceptions. So, when we have major fires, we tend to lose fewer lives than in California or Colorado because our arid landscapes make escape a bit more easy. Live in studio, Max Roth, Fox 13 News, Utah.